driving and the little car beside me it's enough that this car like because the road i'm on it is oh, oh boy <laughs> I'm talking about a bad one. It's way far on the outskirts of the city I live in. And this street is bad. They really need to come do something with this. So, welcome in, welcome in, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget, don't run and go high. Don't forget, don't run and go high. Don't forget to keep the hating outside. Don't forget it's God who will buy us. Don't forget it's God who will buy us. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Come on, let's slide. Don't forget. Come on, let's ride. Don't forget to let go of that pride. Don't forget it's God who will buy us. Don't forget it's God who will buy us. Don't forget. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget. Okay. So, people steal so much stuff from me. I promise you, and I, I, I need to put that up on my community board too, because Facebook really doing something to protect your photos, your pictures, your or whatever, and they got copyrights where you can also go within uh, Facebook guidelines or whatever, or whatever they like here to really protect like your your information your pictures your your uh, they really here to protect your stuff so anywho um y'all so i've been getting downloads i know like like for the last past three four years or whatever my life has been so up and down and out of balance and all of that i've had people to steal all of my stuff and then sit back and act like i'm not who i am when they have seen me put my work out and the reason why they don't want um you know it's been you know, it, 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 it being put out on the forefront is because they didn't stole some of my information and my work and all my stuff. And so where now, you know, I'm past the pain. At first, I was hurt. I was so hurt because it was so many people that I <coughs> put so much emphasis into and I thought that they were better people. And I don't know what the deal is with these stalkers and stealing stalkers and stealing but somebody gonna be in real big trouble and then they try to uh change the narrative and uh falsify some stuff in within or within their dynamic to make it to justify what their actions and what they have done and you know how they have done it still trying to put on that persona of no I got to be in first place I got to be it, it, regardless I took this person's stuff and I used it and what 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 but uh I'm still above them and I still I, I, I still got to operate out of this I still got to be number one I still got to make it look like this is who I am I still got to make it look like this is my work I still got to make it look like and it's not just let it go it is what it is. It did you for something and it did me for something. And it should have taught you a lesson instead of just going on because I'm sure a lot of these people, they've been getting shown over and over and over. They just this fake tissues ass person that do a whole bunch of stuff to try to make it and want to justify themselves and get away with things like they're a narcissist. Like it ain't like they're a narcissist. They are. They want to be above who they put out. They pose to be. They pose as this person. But this is not who they really are. You, you know, you just got to admit to yourself. You just are lacking in some areas than others. Or whatever to where... 
you felt the need to, you know, you may have climbed up the ladder and you was on this trailblazing winning slot of subscribers or to get paid and you're not admitting to yourself that you stole from someone else to get there and that God ain't gonna continue to let that just keep happening okay so anyway y'all okay somebody had already I've been having to move for the last past three years normally my addresses that I be at I'm known to at least stay in those places about five or more years or whatever um and then I went through a driving spell where it seemed like I didn't move for a long time back in it was in between the it was like uh, about 2010 or 2000 9 2010 2011 where I didn't move well whatever it is you know I've moved but um I've graduated in some areas to where I learned more I started doing more and it helped me be able to move better which you know I'm I'm getting older and I have too much work inside of me for me to continue to let people steal it from me and them make it off of my accountability you know off of my 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 abundance my spiritual abundance stuff that come from my spirit so y'all so I know that you know now, two of my jobs, I left. Uh, I didn't get fired from those jobs. I left. It was some different situations going on with these jobs. I left. Um, people were already coming up to my jobs, calling my jobs, stalking me, doing a bunch of weird stuff. And it just got overwearing, overwhelming and overbearing. And I had already been dealing with people stealing from me off of social networks. So I jumped back a little bit from social network. And I'd be damned if I give you all my work and I don't get nothing. I, I can't afford to do that no more. So whatever God is doing, he's going to have to do it because... I'm at a point to where now I can't just let you take my idols. I can't just let you do this and that and you know I'm not getting you're not pouring anything into me. I can't afford to be drained like that. So anyway, y'all, if I don't tell y'all that my neighbor, okay now, I had moved to another little city outside of where I normally been stationed at and I'm going to just say station because this is where normally where I've been living in town in the city limits but I moved you know because even at my jobs even like my family got weird and all of that after my mother passed away you know it got kind of weird now I'm starting to kind of like, and it's some things that happen where people have did things in my family. They didn't distribute money like they were supposed to. They, you know, so now I'm understanding, like, why the backlash and the feedbacks and how people been acting towards me, why it's being like that. And it's for their own to cover their own behinds and to cover what they have done towards me. So the rejection part of it, it really isn't rejection. It's they didn't stole something from me. They didn't did something. They jealous. They, you know, don't want me, you know, all of them got their motives, but it's not anything to do with me. It's all to do with everything that they're doing because 
it's nothing pretty much that I've done to any of them for, you know, for this to have happened. So, anywho, so y'all know I had moved again because somebody had been being in my backyard and all of that. And like for some odd reason, I had these awkward suspicions that my neighbor is this little, it was this white mid age. I don't know if she's in her early 30s. I don't know what type of issues this girl is dealing with. But when I moved there or whatever, like something just would not let me. It, at times I wanted to get acquainted and, you know, say something but it was just something about this person's energy when I moved in um this person that lived across the street from me they would be they would peek in and out of their blinds in and out in and out their blinds and like they was doing like weird stuff to where I was like Okay, well, maybe they just looking out to see who it is. And then, or whatever, so, I lived out there for a year, and this person's energy just did not set well. So, I know that the lady, she had a doorbell on, but She's a younger kind of mid age and she had a three bedroom which with two baths, the same that I had. But she lived there for quite a while by herself. It wouldn't be nobody there, but and I was like, and I used to be wondering, like, oh, you know, she must be here from school or she, you know, maybe she do her job at home or whatever, because it would be times that this person never came out of their house um they never came out of their home yada 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 when they used to come out or whatever they would come through they would get in their car in the garage and come out and the windows was way more tinted than you would ever know the only way you would be able to see or know this person you see her outside of that car or you see her in through the windshield or whatever so me and my neighbors that live next door to me we was more acquainted and it, they was a couple and um her wife would always i mean her husband would always tell me well you know if you have any issues because we know you live at the end of the block and you live on the end you know, don't, you know, hesitate coming to get me, he said, because I have no problem with checking things out or if you hear anything, if anything's going on, you know, let me know. So, you know, he was like, because, yeah, we want you to feel comfortable there. So I had told them that I was moving like on the off of the main street that I was getting ready to move to. But I was outside, and I know that this lady had a ring, she had a bell ring, a ring camera, or whatever. And also, something always would tell me, like, to pretty much put the car in the garage because that lady over there, or however old she is, in her 30s, 40s, whatever, she was just strange. And, like, something would not let me get close to her, like, this woman is like off of a Lifetime movie. I'm talking about where I didn't have to get the police involved. And like, you know, they notating documents of, of whatever because the lady is weird, okay? A couple of times before I even had decided to move because, you know, I had to downsize because it was just, it was too much. And like, I'm not making enough to wear or whatever. Then I got other people that's jealous and I didn't start getting all of these problems and start I, until I started using my giftings and putting my work out and all of that. Even in the tarot room or the celebrity or whatever, these people then took my stuff in real life, do not want to give me recognition for my stuff. And 
They fighting up against me when it's not a battle. That's not a winning battle for you to do no and to have a whole lot of people to come against you and not want you to come out and be able to make it. And they forcefully like doing things in all kinds of communities to try to bury you and keep you down to continue to steal from you is a nuisance. Like that's not something that you do or whatever. Like they wasn't giving me nothing. And so what are you going to try to keep me stuck in a place for you to take from me or whatever and not give me and not want me to move forward? No. And you just want to be the biggest person because you're narcissist. You're sick. You're evil. You're the devil. Whatever plague you have went into, whatever altar you have, you are a demonified Satanist. Okay. But anyway, let me get back to the point, y'all. Y'all, so my neighbor had followed me several times and she had to be just trailblazing me, like just, you know, stalking me coming from where we live at or whatever and followed me all the way over to the other side of town. And boy, when I tell you, when I looked up and I seen it was her and she almost, she went off into Target parking lot and almost hit something, y'all, trying to get, drive through that parking lot to get to that other block to catch up on to where I was going so that she could follow me. So when she did that that day, I didn't think nothing of it. I said, well, maybe she going through something or you know i'm not gonna just put too much emphasis on it or whatever because i'm not gonna try to i'm not i don't want to think weirdly of this woman but that's strange i called her several times follow me from my old address do y'all know that this girl some type of way i don't know if she didn't put a tracker under the on this car or what she did or whatever to uh know where I live at now but I this lady is stalking me and putting her little sister I don't know if it's her sister or whatever and so I didn't put on like the lady that started like stalking my home I didn't call her she ran from me one day I chased her and she ran boy she ran and then she just started walking like like this is crazy well anyway lord you never know what people are going through who they are you never know what type of issues people are a person can look like they and they can have all the things in this world that they you know god be them bless them and here they go stalking and stealing and doing all kinds of evil uh unnecessary evil towards other people and to make somebody else's life a living hell because they're not happy within themselves they got all this stuff uh that girl i don't know if she worked from home or what but she never would leave that house it looked like she got all the necessary things that she would ever want because she never really had to leave up out of that house she had a 2024 vehicle. She living over there where she's paying $1,600, $1,700 for a three-bedroom or whatever uh, with no children up in there and by herself. Like, it be people like that that be sick in their heads that just got everything don't have to struggle for nothing but taking you know advantage of being sick mentally to bother other people like y'all got to be careful but anyway i'm gonna come back with the rest of this story y'all uh be 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 careful out there god bless y'all have a blessed day bye